guys, so today I just want to do a chatty, sort of get ready with me sort of video. Last night, Donald Trump was elected the President of the United States, and I'm having a really, really hard time with it. And if you're anything like me, and if you're really, really anxious about the results of the United States election, um, social media is a nightmare right now if you're as anxious as I am. It's just filled with hatred and just anger and <clears throat> it's been really, really hard to deal with. Um, that being said, I want this to be a politics-free zone. I want, I want to escape for a little bit and just come on here and talk to you guys about makeup and just do makeup and just feel good and just not think about what the future has to hold right now just focus on makeup. So with that being said, please leave all political comments to another video, to another social media platform. Leave politics away from my comment section right now out of respect for me and for those of you out there who are also having a really hard time dealing with this because I want this to be a safe space where we don't have to worry about politics and we can just relax. So, with that being said, I think I'm going to do kind of an orange makeup look. I haven't done one in a second. I love orange makeup looks. I feel like I do them kind of a lot, but I just love them so much. I want to make it a little bit darker than, norm than I normally do, because usually when I do orange, it's kind of a light sort of summery look. I kind of want to do kind of a fall orange look. Okay, so now that I have that all the way, let's get on to the makeup. So I've already put moisturizer on my face face and I'm just going to prime my skin a little bit with my NYX color correcting liquid primer and this one is the yellow one obviously. I just really honestly like this primer. It does make me a little oily. I can't wear it if I'm going to be wearing my makeup like all day but just for tutorials it really does help even out my skin tone. It makes it a little bit more luminous and it just makes my skin soft and prepped for foundation. Then for foundation, I'm going to take my Fiona Styles Matte Finish Foundation Concentrate. I haven't worn this in a second, and I'm going to use my Ulta Beauty Sponge. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, I picked this up the other day when I was in my hometown. Um, I've tried it a couple times. The first time I tried it, I didn't like it because I had to use double the amount of product. What the heck is going on with this pump? Um, I had to use double the amount of product. Um, it hasn't done that so much now. Uh, but I just, I don't know. The jury's still out on this one. I don't know quite if I love it yet, but it definitely, like, I don't know. It does the job. Like, it's not bad. I just don't know. I don't know. I just have to try it more. Okay, and then for concealer, I'm going to take my Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. This is in the shade 005 Light Natural. So I've tried 01 Porcelain, and I have tried 02 Light Beige. This is, or 10... And this is five. Yeah, I don't know. Anyways, the color that matches me the best is definitely light natural. The porcelain one is even lighter. And light beige matches my skin tone. So it matches for, like, covering blemishes and stuff. So just, just for a reference, these are, I think these are the only, yeah, these are the only three colors that Ulta carries. So I don't know if, like, Catrice's website carries more. Um, but these are the only ones that Ulta carries that are also all very, very yellow based, which is great for me and it's good for under eye because the yellow can cancel out under eye darkness, but just something to be aware of if you are super, super pink in undertone or if you just prefer a more neutral or pink concealer, this is not going to be for you. But if you are pale and warm in undertone, this is going to be perfect for you because it's perfect for me. <laughs> Then I'm just going to set my under eyes with my e.l.f. HD powder. Then I'm just going to set my entire face with my NYX Set It and Don't Fret It as per normal. Okay, and then I'm going to go fill my eyebrows real quick and we'll be right back. Okay, brows are done and if you're wondering what product I use, I use the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Besto for the bulk of my brow and then I just take a little bit of Sugar Pills Love Plus eyeshadow just for the center to give it that red to burgundy fade to match my hair. I'm obsessed with colored eyebrows with colored hair, so yeah. 
I think just to start out, I'm going to take my Urban Decay Electric Palette with, which this is being discontinued, so right now it's on sale for $24, I believe, at Sephora and Macy's and a couple other places. I would just Google, like, Urban Decay Palette on sale. It's being discontinued, so if you haven't got it, I would definitely right now, because it's amazing. Everybody needs it in their collection. It's the best. Um, anyways... The first thing I'm going to take is take Slow Burn, which is the beautiful... Oh, no! That brush was so dirty. Shit. This is why you need to clean your brushes, Katie, because now you have a dark shadow all over your lid when you're trying to put on a bright orange. Smart. Smart. Um, so I'm just going to take Slow Burn with my finger and just pop it <clears throat> all over the lid just to start. Most of this is going to get um, like blended away but I just kind of want to start off with an orange on the lid and see where that takes me. God I love this color so much. It's so good. Oh, I love it. I look crazy right now. Anyways, next I'm going to pop in to my Makeup Geek Shadows and I'm going to take a mixture of Chickadee and the little bit darker orange. This one is Early Bird, which is new to their collection. I'm just going to take that on a fluffy bl blending brush. This is the Morphe M4 504. 504. And I'm just going to mix those two and pop that in my crease for my transition shade. I'm going to take this pretty high up in the crease, too. I'm just going to take a little bit of Poppy by Makeup Geek and just pop that on my lid as well. This is actually a really, really similar color to Slow Burn if you don't want to buy the electric palette or if, like, you're just looking for a good bright orange. Poppy right here is a really, really good, like, neon salmon color. It's amazing. Then I'm going to take my Morphe M433. And let's see. I'm going to take this... I'm going to take Cocoa Bear, which is right here. It's just a warm brown. And I'm going to start deepening the crease with Cocoa Bear. I think I'll probably do some smoky liner, too, or something to... Because it's really colorful and fun, but I still want it kind of dark. You know how we do. Hashtag dead girl glam always. So I maybe do some, like, smudged out liner on the bottom, or on the lower lash line. I think that'd be cool. Then I'm just going to go back with my big fluffy blending brush and just blend it out. Okay, then I'm going to take my Kat Von D Shade and Light for the black in this palette because this black in this palette is the best black in the world. Actually, before I do that, actually, I'm going to take some of this pigment on my lid. This is the Makeup Geek um, Hall, um, Duochrome Pigment in Wildfire. I'm just going to take a little bit of that and pop it on, see what happens. I'm just going to spray my brush with a little bit of my All Natural Face Fix It Mist. You guys, my brushes are still dirty from Halloween looks. I have been so busy, which is again, which is like another reason why I haven't had videos up as much, so I'm really sorry you guys. I've just been so busy and it's just been a crazy, crazy month. Um, but yeah, I just like, I've cleaned my room, I've done all these things, but I have yet to clean my makeup brushes. I even like went through and like reorganized my makeup stash and like still have not cleaned all of my brushes. So yeah, you guys can judge me. I deserve it a little bit. This color is so pretty. I think if we do smoky on the bottom, it'll really make it super cool. But now I'm going to go in with the black from the Kat Von D palette and my Morphe M507. This is just a tiny, itty-bitty little detail blending brush. And I'm just going to pop that in the outer corner and really deep in the outer corner. I'm also going to drag it into the crease. And then I'm just going to really intensify and really build up that dark black. Then I'm going to go back with my M M433 with a little bit of Cocoa Bear and just blend right on top of that black. 
Okay, let's work on the lower lash line a little bit. First, I'm going to take my NYX Retractable Eyeliner in black, one of my favorite eyeliners of all time. And I'm just going to line my waterline. A little bit below my waterline. And then just smudge it out with my finger a little bit. I'm actually going to work one eye at a time. I'm going to take the Morphe M433 with Cocoa Bear and just blend right on top, connecting it to the outer corner. Smoke. And if you're uncomfortable blending with your finger, you can totally blend with a brush. That's just what I am most comfortable with, so. You do you, though. Making sure to connect it right there, just so we get a round, smoky look. Then I'm just taking more black then I'm just taking the black and re-intensifying it and blending it a little bit. And just blend it some more with the Morphe M433. Then I'm going to take Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek, which is just really, really pretty shimmery champagne shade. And just pop that on the brow bone. And then take my big fluffy br brush and blend the transition into the brow bone shade. Then I'm going to do a little line of eyeliner. I'm not going to do a wing. You guys totally could do a wing if you want, but with this sort of look, I like to keep it very rounded and smoky. I think it adds to the kind of like dead girl glam aspect of it. Oh, my. Don't you hate it when your nose itches with makeup on? Oh! <gasps> Anyways, I think it adds to the dead girl glam. If you're not comfortable with it, if you don't like it on your eye shape, you do you boo-boo. But I'm just going to do a thin line of liner with my NYX matte liquid liner. This step is also optional, but I like doing it because when I put on fake lashes, it makes the band blend so much better into my makeup, especially when I have a really kind of holographic, <clears throat> glittery-like color on my lid. Doing this just helps it blend in. Okay, eyes are done, so let's jump to face a little bit. So I'm going to hop in to this Be Bella Glow Kit. Glow Dust Palette from B Bella Cosmetics. I'm going to take this shade right here to bronze up with. What bronze do I want to brush with? Okay, well my normal angled brush is dirty from Halloween look, so I'm just going to take, this is an old animal hair brush. I don't use it because it's animal hair, but I'm just going to use it now because my current bronzer brush is dirty. So I'm just going to take that. I like this because it just has the coolest undertone, like not literally cool toned, but like it just has a really, really good brown undertone to where it's not too warm and it's not too cool and you can bronze and contour with it and it's just, it's just a really, really good color. The illuminators in here are really good too, like this rose gold one is awesome for blush. I actually got this from a subscriber when I went to Fame Expo, so thank you. Thank you, Yuli, if you're watching this. I love you to death. Um, but yeah, I just haven't used it a ton, and I'm like, I really, really should, because this shit is bomb. I'm going to take a little bit of that down the sides of my nose just to balance out the bronze and the contour and all that. And then I'm going to contour contour with my Makeup Geek Cool Porcelain Contour, and this is a furless PF3. Yeah, PF3 brush. Super good for precise yet blended contouring. And I'm going to take a little bit of this cool porcelain color to contour my nose as well. I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily contour my nose to like make it look like slimmer like I had a nose job or anything. I just really think it balances well when you have highlight and contour everywhere. I really think it just balances the face really well. Okay, then for blush, I'm going to take the Makeup Geek Blush in Romance, which is a beautiful, like, peachy, shimmery color. It's almost the exact same color as the pigment on my eyes. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it's beautiful. Really similar to, like, NARS Orgasm, where it's that, like, peachy pink with like a really intense like kind of gold reflect to it. 
super pretty. And then, super excited about this, I did my Makeup Geek highlighter swatch video and I really, really wanted to use this shade. This is in the shade Daybreak. It's a beautiful, like, intense peachy color. So I'm going to kind of use this as like a blush topper and highlight, see if it works for a highlight. Might be a little bit too dark for a highlight, but I will probably be able to use it as a blush topper. So let's see what this guy is all about. Ooh. Oh my god. This is beautiful. Holy crap. Okay. So I can for sure highlight with it. So if you have pale skin, this is a good one. Probably not like super like porcelain, porcelain skin, but if you're around my skin tone, um, let's see, in MAC I used to be <clears throat> in NC 15 to 20. Um, just for reference, this would totally work for you. Oh my god, this is so pretty. So pretty. It just gives the coolest kind of like sun-kissed glow to the skin. <sighs> super, super freaking pretty. I'm really stoked on that. Oh my gosh. And you guys know, I'm not a big like peachy person. Like, I've never been one that's like all about the peach tones, but I'm all about it right now. Finding lip colors is always the hardest part for me. I have the hardest time pairing lips with eye colors, especially when I do something more unique like this. I usually just stick with a nude, but I've been trying to branch out, but you guys, it's hard. It's really hard. I don't want to do a nude. I don't want to do something like this. Hmm. Okay, I decided I want to do a pale nude, so first I'm going to start with the NYX Lip Lingerie in Corset. Which, honestly, these aren't my favorite formula, but the colors are bomb, so I can look past the formula flaw. Okay, so I'm just going to let that layer dry. This color screams Vegan Beauty Addict to me. Whenever I see these, like, pale, gray, purple colors, I always think of Vegan Beauty Addict. If you guys don't follow her, if you guys don't subscribe to her, because I'm sure a lot of you guys follow her on Instagram, she's pretty big on Instagram, but you guys need to follow her YouTube channel. I'll link her down below because she's, like, my best friend in the makeup world ever, <laughs> and she's just the best. Okay, so once this is vaguely dry, I'm going to pop on one of my new favorite glosses. This is the Steely Style Go-To Gloss in uncovered yes uncovered it's really cool because it's a super pale nude gloss but it has this beautiful kind of iridescent peachy glitter through it it's gorgeous like absolutely freaking stunning I wore this by itself like no lip liner no lipstick underneath and it was so good but it's also really paired or really good paired with a nude lip oh my gosh it's so good you guys and the formula is really comfortable, not that sticky, it's just great. Okay, and then another thing that reminds me of Vegan Beauty Addict, she recommended these Ardell Double Up Wispies. So I purchased them from Ulta when I was getting more of my Studio FX Wispies. So I'm going to put these on today. I'm going to apply them with a little bit of Kish Kiss Lash Glue, and I will be right back. Okay, you guys, lashes are on, and these are... Beautiful. Not that I would doubt something that Vegan Beauty Addict Jess would recommend, but like these are so beautiful. And they're, since they're wispies, they have a thin band, so they're still really comfortable. But these like are so fluttery and they look layered. They almost look like foam mink lashes. They're really, really super freaking pretty. Highly, highly freaking re recommend the double up wispies. My packaging is everywhere. Yay! Okay, you guys, so this is the completed look. I actually love how it turned out. It's really fun, really smoky. I think it's still fall appropriate, but it's got a little bit of glitter and something fun. I really like how the lips turned out with it. I think it gives it that dead girl glam look that we're all looking for here on my channel. <laughs> But anyways, you guys, I hope this was at least a little bit of an escape from all the crazy politics 
things that are going on right now. This is a message for everybody that is terrified right now. Just know you are not alone. We can get through this together. I love you guys so much. If you guys ever have any concerns or just want to talk, you guys can always Snapchat me DM, me, DM me on Instagram, comment down below here. Whatever you guys need to do, if you guys need to talk, I'm here because I am scared along with you. So, that's that. Please know political arguments in my comments, they will be deleted. This is going to be a safe space where we can just all chill and relax and talk makeup. Okay, you guys, that is all I have for you guys today. I really love how this makeup look turned out. Let me know what videos, blah, blah, blah. let me know what videos you guys want to see in the future. I'm kind of running out of ideas for videos. Like, I can always do makeup looks, but I'm talking about like other types of videos. What do you guys want to see? What do you guys want? What do you want? I don't know. Okay, you guys, I love you guys so, so, so much. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!